Um, good day, good day, everyone. Um, so my name is Pedro, and I'll be, I'll be assisting you guys with spreadsheet or spreadsheet or Excel. So today we'll be doing the question paper, the 2020, 2022 question paper, November 2022 question paper. And we'll be focusing on question seven, which is our, our spreadsheet or our Excel. So I've already typed in all the necessary information. And then all you need to do is make the, the necessary changes to, to the document. And then, yeah, so without wasting any more of your time, so let's jump straight into the question. So question would we'll be in question seven. So question seven A, they're telling us that create the spreadsheet as shown on, on the on the next page, on the next page. So let's go to next page. Next page, so this is basically more or less like the, the question, the, our, our thing, our spreadsheet, our spreadsheet. Okay, so we have some information is in the center. Center for... Then we also have metropolitan. And then, yeah. So let's say the information should be 18, font size should be 18, and then bold. And then mention the center until F. Until F, mention center. Mention center. And then also this headings. So the headings. So number of pairs should be margin centered because there's three. And then, and then we have something like this. So this should be margin center. This way. And also, imagine saying time is supposed to have something like, like this. Okay, so this is supposed to be imagine center also. Supposed to have something, something like this. And then you just, just do the table. So just highlight where the part that needs table. And I just say all for us. Okay, so I'm going to try to move quickly, as quickly as possible. So, yeah, then you should have something like this. Um, so, so moving on, moving on, moving on. So the, all the information won't be exactly as it is on, on our question paper because um, the main aim is to show you how to get those calculations correct, how to get those calculations correct. So yeah, so we are done now with our information and then also this information down here, down below. Then so let's just right click and then insert because this is supposed to be an open, open row. And then yeah, so I think that's basically everything. So just increase your words and all the information is, all the information is shown now. So, okay, so number three, they say make all the changes as indicated below in spreadsheets of already made the changes. Number four, they say insert formulas where the letter of the alphabet appears to do the following calculations on the spreadsheet. So, A, so A, where do we need to calculate our A? Our A, we need to calculate it, go E. So our A is supposed to be here, which is our, our total. So what do they say about A? So A, they said total of each row as metropolitan, metro S per metropolitan municipality. So total of each row. So this is our row. So this is our row 
and then this is our bar columns. So going down these columns and then going to the side, it's the row. So you say, looking for the two terms, it's equal to, when you say it's equal to, it's equal to sum. You have to open bracket and then just add the information that needs to be summed and then close bracket and enter. Then you get your two terms from there. You just write down the information. Like that, then you for something like this. And then B, B the same total is equal to total of total columns. So we also have this total here and above here. Only if you all can see that. And then so this is you must get the total for the total column. So we also say it's equal to the sum. Open bracket, then you highlight. And then close bracket, you get your total for total column. So this is your total for the total column. And then C, C they say you funding or not, if the number of deaths for metropolitan is greater than or equal to 5,000, then the metropolitan will be eligible for, for funding. Otherwise, leave it blank. So we need to calculate funding. So we're calculating funding on this. So our funding is supposed to be, supposed to be here. So funding. So we're calculating our formula here. So the same funding or not is equal to if. So meaning we need to use the if function. We need, we need to use the if function. So when we're using if function, we just say formulas and then come to logical and then we select select if. So after we select if, logical test like what should happen. So what should happen? So they're telling us. If the number of deaths for metropolitan is greater or equal to 5,000. So we're checking if the number of deaths for metropolitan municipality is greater or equal to 5,000. So that's our logical test. That's what, what we're testing. So let's just write it. But if the number, so if the number of deaths, so this is the total number of deaths for, for metropolitan municipality. So this is the total number of deaths. So if this is greater so this the greater sign so how do you know the greater sign which one is the greater sign and less sign so the one that's going to your right hand side the one that's going to your right hand side is your greater and the sign that going that's going to your left meaning this side it's your less so the one that's going to your right being this sign that we, that we have here it's your greater because it's going to your right hand side the sign that's going to your right hand side it's your greater the sign that's going to your left hand side is your less so this is the greater sign so if the number of death from each metropolitan is greater than or equal is to so greater or equal is to 5000 just type in 5000 then what should happen so you're coming to our really if if true so if the statement up there is true what should happen Metropolitan will be eligible for funding. So we say quotation marks and we say funding. Just like in capital letter, funding. So if the value, if what is written up there is true, if what is written up there is true, if like the number of death is above 5,000, it should say funding. And then if it's below 5,000, it should say, you must leave it blank. So when you leave it blank, just put in those quotation marks. Open and close quotation marks. Like we did here, we said open quotation mark and then we wrote funding and then close quotation marks. So in this case, the same you must leave it blank. So when you leave it blank, we must just say open and close quotation marks. So if you can check just there, open and close there, the quotation mark, and then you just say, and just say okay and then here's our here's our funding then just write down everything the ones that are below five thousand like this four thousand one hundred and sixty will be left blank left blank because what it's not above five thousand so if ever maybe there's anything you don't understand just rewatch the video again and then you get a deeper understanding concerning all this funding and not funding and then so D, D the same greatest number of deaths as on 1st of May. And then first, and then June, July. So 
greatest number of deaths. So greatest number of deaths, usually when we calculate the greatest number, we're supposed to say, to use what? The max, is equal to max. So when you say is equal to max, you're calculating the highest number. So in this case, they're looking for the highest number and then the second highest and then the third highest number. So we won't be able to use max. So instead we'll be using what? Equal is to large. Equal is to large. And then we open bracket. So we're calculating large for, for me. We're looking for large for, for me. So we're going to range the information here, me. And then comma one. One being what? We want the highest number one, largest number. Let me see, end. Criteria comma one, okay, comma. Many. So some computers uses a comma, and then some computers in this case, if you can check here, just, just, just here, it's not it's that comma with a dot on top. So this laptop is using that comma. So just use that, and then instead of the comma, the normal comma. So it's that comma with with a dot on top. So just use that, and then say enter. So now we have our largest number. Same thing with the second highest. Second highest, we say large, is equal to large. Open, open bracket, and then you highlight information for, for me. And then comma two, because we're looking for what? For second highest number. Second highest number, you say enter. Same thing with number three, which is equal to large. Open bracket, and then you highlight and then comma pre for third highest number and then enter. So you're going to do the same thing for June and July. So when you highlight, you just the only difference will be you're going to highlight the information for, for June. The only difference will be highlighting information for, for June. And then so in this case, you can just drag everything. We're going to the sides. We're going to the sides. We're going to the sides. And then we have all our, our information. So we calculated D, E, F. So now we're going to, to G, percentage of total for Johannes Bank. So percentage for total for Johannes Bank. We're going to calculate it just under E. Percentage. So how do we calculate the percentage? How do we calculate the percentage? So you see, it's equal to we calculate the percentage for Johannes Bank. So it's equal to this amount divided by our total. Then you get 20%. But then usually this amount doesn't come in as a percentage already. So usually when you say when you say it's equal to this amount of Johannes back divided by this, you get like an amount like this. So this amount you have to change it into a in percentage. So just percentage, then that's when you get your 20% as you've as it showed on this. So you just change it into the percentage. And then yeah. And then we have what else? What else? What else? The number of metros not eligible for funding. So they say determine the number of metros not eligible for funding. So meaning we have to count these blanks because these, these are the people who are not eligible for funding. So when you count blanks, when you count in blanks, you just use the formula. It's called to, it's called to count blank. Blank. And then open bracket and then just highlight. Close bracket and, and then that's how you complete your your count blanks. Your your count blanks, and then you're done. That's your age. And then they say copy the formulas to the other cells as indicated in the spreadsheet. So I've already copied all the formulas to the other cells, and then they say adjust the column width to fit all the content of the spreadsheet in one A4 page. So I've already done that. And then they said print the spreadsheet and print out in your examination folder. 
Okay, so we're going to B. So question 7B. Question 7B, they say retrieve the spreadsheet saved as <coughs> question 7A and change the what what okay. Display the formula. Display the formula. So we need to show our, our formulas. So just come to formula and then show formulas. That's how you do it. And then usually they say, okay, they say number three, they say they adjust the column width to fit the content of the spreadsheet on what A4 landscape page. So we must change that into landscape. So just click here, let me say landscape. So this line in here, and this, this line, it shows where your page ends. So just do this until just fix your width until all the information appears in, in one page. Just fix your width. Okay, so this you can just drag text. Just drag text this. The text, the text, the text, and then continue fixing the information. Okay, so now all our information is in one page. So all our information is in, is in one page. All our information is one page now. Yeah. So everything is in is in one page. And then they say save the question as 7P and then print the spreadsheet with rows and column headings. So they say print it with rows and column headings. So how do you do that? You just come to files and then from files, you say print. So rows and column headings. So if you can see rows and column headings, so meaning those that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then those A, B, C, D, E, F, G go into the size. You just say page setups, then sheet, and then rows and column headings. And you say, you say, okay. And then when you print out your question paper, it's going to have this one, two, three, four, five. That's what they mean when they say rows and column, column headings. So that's how you do question seven, seven B. Now seven C. So 7C, they say retrieve the spreadsheet 7A, create a pie chart for so 7A. So let's go to from last. Okay, so let's try to do this as quickly as possible. Okay, so we do something like this. And then they say create a pie chart to display the greatest number of deaths for June and all three at all the three levels, the greatest number of deaths. So this is our greatest number of deaths. This table here, our greatest number of, of deaths for June. For June. So we're going to highlight only only June. So let's say June. And then also this all three, all three levels. So level one, two, and three. Then we say they say they want a pie chart. So we say insert and then just make our pie chart. And then you will have your pie chart. And then they saying as a full chart key in the examination number left. Chart is as the full chart. Okay, so I'll get back to that information. So number four, they say insert the following title. So title, our title being here, we we'll just change it into greatest test number of there. So we'll just write the whole the whole title, and then they say display data labels outside end and show only the category name and value. So we must show what our data table, our data, data label. So we, we right click 
And then we see that anymore. And then they said the data label should be outside, outside in there. So just move this outside. This also outside. This is to be new, so we just okay. outside and also this outside. So we should have something like this and then display the legend above the graph. So our legend, so this is our legend. One, two, and three, okay. So our legend above, so just on top. And then as a footer, okay. So this graph should be in a separate sheet in order for you to be able to, to print it. So we'll just paste the graph on sheet three. So you can just come to move graph just here, move graph, and then select sheet three. And then your graph will go to, to sheet three. So here's our graph in, in sheet three. And then what should happen also? And then our headers and footer. So header and footer. So they said as a footer. Key index initial number. So customize footer. On the left side, you must write what? Your left side examination number, so examination number, and then on the right, you have your question seven. You write your question seven, and then you just okay, done. And then what else? So what else? Okay, so and then print out in landscape. We just print. And then. So here's your full task. Just down here. Your full task. Yeah. And then so we are done with question. Question seven. So that's how you do your, your spreadsheet. That's how you do your, your spreadsheet. So yeah. That's basically how to do everything concerning your response sheet. So without wasting any more of your time. Um, if ever I was moving too quickly on this because um I'll be having more changes soon, so that's why I was moving so fast. Um, so without wasting any more of your time, so if ever this video helped you in any way, please do like and subscribe because we're going to post more videos concerning your computer practice and then all your other subjects that you might be facing might be having trouble in we're going to post a whole lot of videos concerning some of the work we do with each other so just to subscribe so that you don't miss out in you don't miss out on anything that we that we will be doing so from me to you guys thank you for watching and have a lovely night push, push up.